What do you think will happen to Tesla stock in 2023? Even experts are torn on whether Tesla will soar from here or will the company finally face its demise. Still, some remain optimistic about the company's future, at least for the near term. You definitely would not want to miss this. The fundamentals are all extraordinary. The problem is all the noise. Future fund managing partner and Tesla bull Gary Black recently told CNBC. Gary Black, the managing partner of investment firm The Future Fund, recently said on Musk's social media platform that some EV buyers don't want controversy in their choice of cars, and at the margin may choose a different EV brand to avoid this. As many are aware, Tesla stock price is at an all-time low. In fact, many believe that Tesla shares suffered the worst year ever and that 2023 looks bad too. In light of this, experts warn that if you think 2022 has been a trying year for Tesla stock, with shares down 65%, think again and prepare yourself for more. Tesla, although it remains to be the leading EV company in the EV sector, faces different dynamics in the two mega markets it serves. But in both cases, they add up to sizable challenges for Tesla in 2023. The two mega markets for Tesla are in North America and everywhere else. Throughout North America, EV competition remains relatively light, and in the US, new EV credits should bolster Tesla's demand in 2023. However, the rest of the world is a different matter altogether. China's EV subsidies end by the end of this year, and several European countries are also cutting or scrapping subsidies. At the same time, competition is ramping up across Eurasia, especially in China. These two broad markets do share one thing, a weak economy in the new year will weigh on EV sales worldwide. Tesla's pricey offerings are particularly vulnerable to a cooldown. The brakes are screeching on EV demand. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas wrote in mid-December, Within autos, we believe the shift in the balance of supply demand for EVs has the potential to take investors by surprise. That said, Jonas and several other analysts see Tesla price cuts in the coming year, picking up from outright cuts or other discounts in late 2022. A drop in Tesla's global average selling price to around $50,000 in 2023 from $53,500 in Q3 2022 does not appear implausible. Bernstein analyst Tony Sakanagi recently wrote, These factors, along with concerns about CEO Elon Musk's focus since his $44 billion Twitter takeover, have sent Tesla stock plunging as 2022 winds down. In 2023, analysts expect Tesla earnings per share to grow a cooler 40% to $5.66, with sales up 42% to $118.2 billion. That's a strong pace, but the era of triple-digit growth and the idea of unlimited demand that long-fueled Tesla stock may be over. Meanwhile, the company faces risks to the downside. Today, despite the numerous issues and dilemmas, Tesla remains the world's largest maker of fully electric battery EVs, with a commanding BEV lead in North America. But China EV giant BYD, BYDDF, already far above Tesla in BEV and plug-in hybrid PHEV sales combined, will likely overtake its US rival in global BEV deliveries in 2023. Still, Tesla remains the most profitable EV maker for now due to its high vehicle prices. While we see 2023 as a challenging year for the EV maker categorically, we believe Tesla's gap to competition can widen. Morgan Stanley's Jonas has said, In a December 24th tweet, Gary Black said, We are reducing Tesla 2023 EPS to $6.30 from $7.20 and 2023 vols to 2 million 50% year over year to reflect a reduced global SAAR estimate 68 million versus 75 million and a reduction in 2023 ASP to 52.1K from 57.3K. We reduced our 2023 auto GM percentage to 28.5% from 29%. Our new LT vol growth forecast is 35%. In another tweet, Black explained that investors should interpret the lower 2023 earnings, out-year forecast, and lower PT as erring on the side of conservatism, given the uncertain economic environment. We share Elon's view that the Fed is making a huge mistake by pushing interest rates higher as inflation continues to fade, Black said. Still, Tesla remains the dominant EV maker in the U.S. In fact, 65% of the 525,000 registered EVs in the U.S. were Tesla vehicles through the first nine months in 2022, according to data released in November by S&P Global Mobility. 
the original Fremont plant has significantly increased production numbers. It can be noted that the Fremont plant makes the Model 3 and Model Y, as well as the luxury Model S sedan and Model X SUV. The Fremont factory can produce up to 550,000 Model 3 and Y vehicles a year, according to Tesla. It also has the capacity to build up to 100,000 Model S and Model X vehicles. The newer Austin site has a planned capacity of 250,000 vehicles. Tesla Austin is currently ramping up Model Y output, which should help profit margins as the plant nears capacity. Moreover, the Austin plant is set to make the Cybertruck when the vehicle comes online, perhaps in mid to late 2023. But the oft-delayed truck isn't likely to be a volume contributor next year. Tesla is also finalizing plans to build an auto assembly plant in northeastern Mexico, Bloomberg reported this month. Tesla sales are expected to rise significantly in the U.S. next year. Tesla should get a boost in 2023 from new EV tax credits of up to $7,500 per vehicle from the Inflation Reduction Act IRA. Income and vehicle price caps, however, could limit Tesla vehicle and buyer eligibility. The EV credits limit eligible sedans to prices of $55,000 or less, with pickup trucks and SUVs capped at $80,000. Tesla will likely make permanent price cuts in the U.S. to qualify for IRA rebates, Bernstein Sakanagi wrote. The EV credits only apply to vehicles assembled in North America. That excludes imports such as the Ionic 5 and EV6. With EV credits looming, many would-be Tesla owners have delayed purchases or taking delivery until 2023. Tesla, on December 21st, began offering a $7,500 credit on Model 3 and Model Y deliveries in the U.S. before the year-end. That's up from $3,750 at the start of the month. The EV giant also is offering free supercharger miles as another incentive. However, Tesla faces other challenges outside the U.S. China, Europe, and other markets outside North America have many differences, but for Tesla, they're two production hubs. Shanghai, already the biggest Tesla factory, got a big capacity expansion in Q3. The newer Berlin area plant, meanwhile, has been picking up production. Shanghai makes the Model 3 and Model Y, while Berlin only produces the Model Y for now. While China is a huge Tesla market for local sales, Shanghai is also the EV giant's export hub. Tesla ships some Model Y and many Model 3 vehicles from China to Europe, as well as to markets such as Japan, South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand. As the Berlin plant ramps up, that will help boost profit margins as in Austin. However, that benefit could be offset if Berlin's higher output spurs production cuts in Shanghai or price cuts in the Eurasian mega market. Many may wonder why Tesla doesn't ship cars to the U.S. from overseas plants. This is because Tesla exports from Shanghai to the U.S. would not be profitable due to a 27.5% tariff on Chinese-made autos. Theoretically, Berlin could export Model Y vehicles to the U.S., but any foreign-made Tesla EVs would not be eligible for the new U.S. tax credits. According to analysts, fourth-quarter Tesla deliveries should reach 431,000. That would mean roughly 1.34 million for the full year, up 43% from 2021. Analysts are also projecting Tesla deliveries will swell 46% to 1.96 million vehicles in 2023, according to FactSet. Even with headwinds and macroeconomic challenges, Tesla Q4 deliveries should easily surpass Q3's record of 343,830 EVs. That was up 42% versus a year earlier, but missed analyst estimates. Analysts expect Tesla's earnings per share to grow 53% to $1.30 in Q4. Revenue should swell 51% to $26.6 billion, roughly in line with the past three quarters. Tesla stock has notably lost more than a third of its value just in December, plunging to a two-year low. Tesla shares have plunged 70% from the November 2021 peak, with most of that coming since late September amid demand concerns and Musk's Twitter purchase. Still, experts believe that Tesla is a good stock to buy. One thing going for Tesla is its outstanding R&D and execution capability. The company has delivered numerous innovations and has produced its way around chip shortages quite efficiently. Tesla managed chip shortages by replacing the chips with substitutes and rewriting its firmware. This enabled Tesla to manage production way more efficiently than most manufacturers. Moreover, EV as a sector will continue to grow and Tesla will be a huge beneficiary. Although Tesla is facing numerous issues today, the company remains to be the biggest name in the world of electric vehicles. That said, it is in the pole position to exploit this rapidly growing market. 
consumers are increasingly switching to these cleaner vehicles as worries over the environment and regulations grow. For long-term investors, recent share price weakness may be viewed as a chance to grab a bargain. Besides, experts say that while others believe that 2023 does not look good for Tesla, they are optimistic that next year will, in fact, be a great year for Tesla. Subscribe to this channel for more Tesla stock content in 2023.